my neck. Oh, your neck hurts. Well, see, do my isometric neck exercises and you won't have neck pain. Let's get it. <laughs> Coach Zach here, and in this video, we're talking about your neck. Most people neglect their neck when it comes to training. Unless you're in some kind of contact sport like football or hockey, or some kind of combat sport or martial art, then most people don't train their neck. And this is a vital part of your body. So I'm gonna share with you a couple isometric neck exercises that will strengthen your neck, which has so many benefits. Not only functional, you will reduce your chances of whiplash or having concussions, God forbid if you ever get into a car accident, but also from an aesthetic standpoint. Having a thick, strong neck if you're a man, it makes you look more masculine. Whenever you're doing any kind of exercise, but especially neck exercises, you want to have the tongue at the roof of the mouth. I've already made several videos on this channel talking about tongue posture and where your tongue should be during exercise or any time during your life. So go ahead and check out those videos, but tongue at the roof of the mouth. So first exercise, nice strong stance, tongue at the roof of the mouth. You're going to bring your palms to your forehead. And from here, you're gonna resist pushing into your forehead while pushing back in that isometric hold. If you have any neck or cervical disc issues, herniations, then you wanna check with your physician before doing these. So, from here, nice strong athletic stance, palms at the forehead, tongue at the roof of the mouth, begin to push, breathe, start with 10 seconds, and release. Start with 10 seconds, work your way up to 20, and then finally go for 30 seconds. Next, you're gonna work on resisting back. So you're gonna bring the hands behind the head. You can interlace if you want or not. And then from here, kind of imagine you're giving yourself a double chin. So tuck your chin, you're gonna be pushing your hands forward while resisting back. Tongue at the roof of the mouth. A Little bit of shaking is fine. Start with 10 seconds, work your way up to 20, and then 30. So we did front, we did going back. Now we're gonna go side to side. Palm, boom, side of the head, nice tall stance. We're not gonna be moving our head, right? So this is isometric, we're not moving. We're stabilizing, pushing in while holding back. Boom. Tongue to the roof of the mouth, 10 seconds. Work your way up to 30, relax. Then, other side. Same thing. All right, I'm not in this position. I'm not in this position. I'm nice and neutral. I'm just pushing here while pushing here with my hand. Boom. Start with three sets of all of those, starting with 10 seconds, work your way up to 20, and then see if you can get to 30 seconds. This last exercise I'm gonna show you is a neck bridge. Now this is an advanced exercise, so if you're just starting training your neck, don't begin with this. Again, I can't stress enough. If you have cervical issues, if you have bulging discs, herniated discs, then this might not be for you. I have to say it, consult your doctor before doing anything, training your neck. So, you're gonna come onto your back. You wanna have some padding behind, right? Now, again, tongue at the roof of the mouth. Push it up. And then from here, you're gonna come up, so hips come up. Your entire spine comes up, so the only thing touching the ground are your feet and the back, the top back of your head. So that little spot where when you're a baby it's soft, hopefully you're not a baby anymore so it's not soft anymore, that's what's going to be on the ground. So from here, tongue at the roof of the mouth, breath in, exhale, come up, hold. If you've never done that before. Just start with five seconds, work your way up to 10. If you can get to 30 seconds, you're a beast. So I'll demonstrate again, tongue at the roof of the mouth. Come up. And down. Again, this is an advanced exercise, so don't start there. Do the other ones with the self-resistance and then work your way up to that. So go ahead, drop a comment. Let me know how this works for you. 
Neck training is extremely important, not just from a functional standpoint, protecting your head because your neck is your foundation of your brain, the most important organ in your body. Uh, so try them out, get a strong, nice looking neck, especially if you're a man that's attractive. And yeah, check out that link down below for my slide your way to a flat stomach program and for a limited time, you also get a free pair of sliders. As always, I'm Coach Zach and I'll see you next time. Yeah.